everyone. We are live with Dr. Rima Thalji from GSK. Welcome, Rima. I know you didn't sign up for this, but thank you for participating. <laughs> Rima, um, you're a scientific leader at GlaxoSmithKline. Can you tell us a little bit about what your day is like? What my day is like? Oh, okay. After I get through my 20 emails <laughs> that I usually have every morning, I, um, I will um, meet with my team. Um, and we go over the, the data from the last week on our, our re recent set of compounds and we decide um, what was good, what was interesting, and we decide what to make next and what our priorities should be and think about what the problems are and try to focus on those. That's great. Uh, you're working on a very, very challenging problem. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the problem that you're working on? Yeah, so the problem is, so I work in the antibacterial, uh, well, I don't actually work in the antibacterial space anymore. I, I'm not as of last year, but um, in the antibacterial space, um, I the biggest challenge is cellular penetration. So we don't really understand um, bacteria cell walls very well, um, and we don't understand what properties space um, allows us to get into into the bacteria very well. Okay. So that's the biggest issue. That's great. So you meet with your team every day? Not every day. No, we, we, we do once a week. I think they would they would really hate me if we <laughs> if we met every single day. No, it's once a week, right when the, right after the data comes out. Okay. And we um, yeah, and I try to get into the lab myself, but it doesn't always happen. Okay. Um, so you haven't. When was the last time you ran a reaction? Oh, two years ago. Oh wow! And do you remember what the reaction was? I think I was making a cephalosporin. It was a, a really complicated molecule. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. So, um, Rima, for students who are interested in medicinal chemistry, can you uh, describe what is a PFI? PFI. PFI is a property forecast index. Um, it is a property, so it's basically your log D, which is the measure of flipping felicity, plus the number of aromatic rings in your molecule, and it's a property um, for a molecule that that um, is indicative of uh, its its success in the clinic. So um, it can be used to uh, it's it's just a, a guideline. So you want your your PFI, your property forecast index, to be less than six in order for it to have a highest chance of being safe okay. in the clinic. That's great. That's really cool to know. Um, so Rima, one other question for you. You did your PhD at UC Berkeley. Mm -hmm. What's the thing that you really took from that and that translates to your job today? <sighs> That's a hard one. Um, <laughs> um, you know, still still the same work ethic, you know? So hard work and um, I learned that in graduate school, so I guess that's what I would say. Okay, go Bears. Yeah. Rima, one last thing. Um, is there anything else you want people on Twitter to know? Twitter to know? I'm not sure I know anybody on Twitter, <laughs> so. <laughs> um, You're making your first appearance ever. <laughs> um, I'm happy to be here with, with the V-Dong group. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Rima. Awesome. Rima Dalsy from GSK. <laughs>